Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Delta Gal, an adventure platformer which is heavily Mega Man Legends influenced, although it doesn't quite control like Mega Man Legends, which if you remember playing it was a little bit clunky. This game is a little more closer to emulating the aesthetic rather than the game purely. So, I'm gonna kind of talk about some more details of what I've discovered from this game. So I feel my way around the controls a little bit. But this is an unfinished game. This is the current build that's available. And the developer, at the moment anyway, has suspended development um, because it is just a one-man team. Whether or not they plan to revisit it or not later, uh, we'll see. Just gonna kind of look around the town. Because if you make something Mega Man Legends-like, <laughs> you're probably making it for the aesthetic, I'll be honest. And if you're not absorbing the, the, the style and the look, I mean, you're not really enjoying the game, right? I am obviously right. You know nothing. So I think, for the most part, this is probably pretty underdeveloped here. Let's see. There is a giant bag of slime. We can do a rebound off a wall. And looks like we can do some uh, platforming, per se. I drive medium-sized trucks for a living. Why do people keep asking me to fix their plumbing? Because you look like a plumber. Can't go in that. It's hard to identify what I can go into or not. There's nothing to be seen there. I probably have to maybe get on top of a building and then rebound off some things. Because no way I can reach over that. We'll come back to this later. Let's uh, do some more exploring before we do platforming. City Hall. Can't go in there. What this? This looks a little... No? I probably have to find some like a shop or something I can go into. Something like obvious. First person in conversation. Most conversations, first person look will be used. I think it's pretty nice and it's a great way to avoid ugly camera angles and tight spaces. Thank you, instructional developer insert girl. First person conversation. Hello there. This is a continuation of the conversation with me, the Texture Swap Girl 96. I feel like you could make almost an existential. It's been done a few times, but you could make an existential horror game out of that. Okay, you go in this shop. Looks like there's no NPC to buy anything here yet. There's a dude here who has first person conversation. Gear shop. Get my engine container or a grenade. But I don't have any bits. Let me just move the camera around so we can absorb this kind of modern low poly look. Let's see, there's a bouncy up here. Okay, you can jump higher. Nothing up here yet, though, looks like. Just right a kick down. Okay, so let's go for that now, before I set out for the world in combat. Ooh, made it.
Secret. First person conversation. Alright, we're out of here. I'm digging it. I'm digging the, the art. Even if the game's not finished, I, I really... I just... I like their aesthetic they're going for. I think they've... You know, they pretty well, actually. It's not completely retro. Like, you can tell there's there's modern techniques. Um, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Depends what you're trying to emulate. Found sword. Class D license. Grants access to class D in lower class areas. Sword. Left ship to perform a spin attack. So we're not quite as elegant as Zero. <laughs> when it comes to this. That loops around. So let's go into the cave. Mmm. Low poly cave textures and warping. Go too fast! Yeah, I don't really need to sprint through here. Let's just jump normally. I get the spider on here on the left before I jump, if I can. And I want them to shoot me mid-jump and land me into a pit. There we go. Jump this. Oh, crap! There we go. Running jump. Can't make that. I think there's no music in this cave, or maybe it bugged out and it just didn't play. I'm not really sure. Let's look at my main character here a little. There's our Delta gal. Oh, no, 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 a little slower. A little slower, buddy. Okay. Man, yeah, it's still no music. Maybe it just was there was only like one track made. Hi there, name's Locke. Have you seen my shovel anywhere around? Well, if you find it, let me know. See you then. Sure, I'll help you find your shovel, my... 90s anime-looking friend. Looks like he came out of that one fighting game that... Akira Tomiyama, like, helped design. Was it Toeball? Something like that? Let me reload my game just in case there is music and the track just didn't play while I'm up here. Okay, yeah. Confirmed it. So there is just no track here yet. There's a shovel. 
and a mosquito wasp. Definitely a lot more momentum than Mega Man Legends. Gotta be careful with that sword, though. Kinda puts me in hitbox range. You found my shovel, thank you! Player gave shovel to lock and key. I'll be digging up stuff in that cave. Feel free to come by at any time. Let's go back. Looks like we can progress now. My shovel sure is nice. As I was digging, bombed the hole caved in. I barely made out alive. Thanks to the raw power of my Kiniku man. Something valuable should be down there. But I have fallen in a dark hole and break my neck phobia. Oh yeah, yeah. Fall in the dark home breaking neck phobia. Along with living life phobia. Pretty bad. Whoop, whoa, 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 whoa. That wall bounce really opens up a lot of shortcuts. Chain. Creates chain to swing from markers. Press E while near the marker to start swinging. Whoops. Okay, I saw the I saw the trigger come up. There we go. Just gotta make sure I see that shine. Trying to be able to need to do a running jump for this one. I think we can get without it. Angle myself to left if I can. Good, we're out. Oh boy, the music track's back. Yay! See some new swings around here. Be able to swing across, but it's more down that way. And just control my momentum a little. Good enough. Let like, go of the E key too early. You gotta be careful about that double tap. Let's slow down my momentum a little bit. Make it a little more neutral. So I get a nice forward swing. Okay. Gotcha. Now, I don't think I have to go for you. Maybe when I'm on return trip, yeah, but like, I think I can do this. But let me... Let me neutralize momentum a little. I actually like the swinging mechanic. I think it just... It's both... It's in this weird realm where it's... Working kind of funny, but also working kind of smooth. Very Dojin game feeling. You found 10 bits. That's a lot of bits. Wait till the thing fully extends. And go. Realize momentum. The full length and chain. 
I'm not quite sure what we're swinging on. Like, I understand it's some kind of weird energy ring, but why is there random energy rings? I guess, I guess it's probably was just a uh, developer template. Like, well... I'll need to, uh, add something later. In, like, a vine or something to grab onto. This is our first official dungeon. Save point. Store health. I think we're still full anyways. Good. There's a straight Mega Man Legends right here. We got some platforms up there. And we've got some chains to swing on. Looks like the platforms are mainly to try to save myself if I'm falling or the return trip. Gotta angle my momentum. Go for that one, yeah. Good. Get the bits, get the bits. God, there's a lot of bomb droppers. Left, right... Whoa! Two cut off guard here. They're weak to the Z Saber quite a bit. I just need to learn how to dodge their uh, initial hit. Because I'm not sure if there's invincibility frames on this. Or if it's just don't be near them whatsoever. Oh boy. Looks fun. I totally stuck that one wrong. Uh oh. Cool, we're in. Mini boss coming up soon, maybe? No, we opened up the uh, shortcut, sweet. We heal. This one is not open. At least yet. Oh, oh, oh. Almost, almost right off the edge. I guess you cannot die. Point from behind, yeah. I see the game you're playing. There is something over there. Let's check out this room first. No, that doesn't open. Sweet. Now, we've got to pull off some stuff here. Um, that enemy's getting a little too close for me, I'm gonna... No, I didn't make it. So we can't make it in one leap. Oh, 
okay, I'll, I'll say that outside of, um... So Mega Man Legends had a little bit of a customization equipment factor. This one obviously is too undeveloped to have that. Uh, pure gameplay-wise, this is definitely better than Mega Man Legends already. Oh, crap. Too fast, too furious. But Mega Man Legends came out at a, a funny time for game controls, where they weren't... Analog sticks still weren't very commonplace, and there was a, uh... They were still filling out the 3D gameplay realm. So I don't really blame Capcom on that. Let's see, he wants to turn the camera around with me. So, there is something going on here. Ow. I suspect I gotta jump on that. I kind of hop between them. But, looks a little easier than said than done. Okay. There's more up above, but it's gonna lead anywhere. Might be enemies in here. No. Sweet. Elevator works. Or rather, it was just a super door. So a big part of Mega Man Legends, once again, like I said, it was the style, which was uh, graphically at the time, at least for that kind of cartoony style, was one of the best games um, released. And it was the, the characters, because Mega Man never had much characterization. You had, uh, the closest you got was maybe... The original Mega Man had some characterization, but, you know, it's simple. And the Mega Man X had a little bit with, uh, in particular, Zero had a bit more backstory. That got expanded on early on, not so much. It got expanded on later as it went. But uh, Mega Man Legends was the first one with real cutscenes. I kind of, uh, when I saw it growing up, it's kind of like, oh, Mega Man's, it's like a like an actual like show, per se. Like there's characters and there's recurringness between them. Things go on. It's almost like a Saturday morning cartoon villain. And then eventually we got the Mega Man Legends 2 and we ended up on the moon. Or I think it was the moon. I don't I don't know what the equivalent is in this universe. So it, it kind of went out there. Uh, Mega Man Legends 2 at least went way out there. But... I think that was the big carry part. Uh, I don't think it needs to be said I'm a, a pretty big hopeful in a return to Mega Man Legends in some form. I don't think it needs to be the same type of game. It just needs to have the same idea. And to finish off the storyline that killed Fanger Dat. Um, but I'm generally a fan of all the, the Mega Man games. The other ones are better gameplay-wise, but Legends is just a special place in my heart. Um, even amongst other PS1 games of the era. I need to dodge bear. So circle them. Don't go back, because they just fall through. I think I took some damage there still. Oh crap. That was almost bad. Unlocks a boss door. So I'm afraid to go through the funnel door a little bit because I'm pretty low on health, and I'm worried that I'll have to. That's the one I came in. Commit to a boss when I'm not quite ready. Let's see. There might be a save point in that room, but I'm just gonna go back to save myself some time. Cover my bases. Well, no. That's the room we unlocked, so we were supposed to come back here. But to me, Legends, I feel like, really represents... 
No, we came for this door. Okay. Never mind, I'm way turned around. It kind of represents a certain era of Capcom. And I think that era is mainly gone. Capcom still makes good games. But they don't make Capcom games anymore. So I think a lot of times when... um, Because Mega Man Legends fans are one of the most vocal of the bunch. I think a lot of times we're kind of like crying for old Capcom. Which is never going to... I don't think it's ever going to come back. Or that kind of studio anymore. Based on what the market is and what people want. I think the specific games can come back. But that... Oh god. Toho! Demaku! I probably can jump through those. This is just basically a challenge mini game. Almost. I got too off guarded because of my commentary. I wasn't paying attention. As I was saying though, uh, I think I think the specific games, like obviously they've made a new Mega Man. There's some implications. Maybe they'll make a new uh, some return to some other franchises. But that overall atmosphere of Capcom and Konami and Tecmo and all of them, that's probably gone. Which is just how it is. No, never mind. Oof. Didn't let you do that final phase. Hmm. Just women. No, that's where we came in. Well, I'll go and save just in case. Okay, let's go around a little more, see if I missed anything. Whoops. I think the developer said there's another boss in this game. So let's see. In the cave area. I'm curious why I have the option of swinging. I, mean, I get through this area just fine. Oh! I remember now. Yeah, I remember I was like, oh yeah, that's too far away. I thought that the, this was this area, but it wasn't. I was thinking of a different area. Snake worm boss? Oh crap, it's a drill worm. Oh crap. Yeah. Whoops. My own platforming is going to be the death of me. I guess that's the intent of the boss in a lot of ways. Because you just have just enough jump to maybe make those jumps, but almost not enough. Okay, so any more hit will kill us. Okay, we got you. 
Now, just not to fall to my death. Easier said than done. 18 bits. That's a lot of bits. So let's go to that shop. Let's just buy the grenade, just to see what it does, even though there's nothing left in the game to use it against. Nice. F to throw grenade. Oh yeah, I can buy the energy tank too. But I can't use my weapons in town. So we need to go out to the forest. Grenade out! It works exactly like you would think it would work. And I think there's one thing left in this game. You were probably supposed to beat that boss, and so this would be like the next town, the next boss, and so on. I don't think there's much here, though. Looks like it's just like a coastal fisherman town. Like, you know, like, you gotta, like, have that cliche. Always need one coastal fisherman or shanty town. God, the subway's flying through the sky. Hey, there's a little secret thing there. I think. Yeah, I, I suppose there would have been a secret here. Oh god, we're drowning. Or not. We can probably breathe in the water just fine. And we could swim. Interesting. We're not a very good swimmer, but we could swim nonetheless. Probably would have been secrets under the water. So that's it for Delta Gal, or at least what's currently available in the game. Um, very recently the developer said they have decided to stop developing on it for basically a solo developer, um, you know, don't have the time for it and the, the resources to continue developing kind of thing. They have played with the idea of starting a Patreon of some kind or something to kind of continue development on or whatever project they decide to do. Of course, um, this video is not about endorsing anything like that or telling you, hey, go support their Patreon because we... Word of caution, we all know, especially with Mega Man fans, all know how those things can kind of turn out. Although if something were to happen, like this game were to be finished or something like that, or if the developer made, you know, future projects, maybe smaller in scale, I, you know, I'd be in full support. Because a, a finished project is a finished product, basically. But I played this game mainly because I'm a big Mega Man Legends fan and I kind of wanted to see um, what was done. Even just from like an artistic, uh, artist project standpoint, you know, I think it's relatively, um, very nice endeavor, um, especially for a solo developer to just kind of make this. And I do like the artist's art, like their actual models and everything that they make um, outside of this game, just their general art when I looked at their Twitter. So once again, we're a caution about ever throwing money towards anything, um, but feel free definitely to uh, go check out the artists in general. Their information is down there in the description. But on a separate subject from the game, just kind of going back to some of the themes I was talking about earlier, um, like I said, I kind of mentioned, like, I don't think that old era um, of atmosphere that's kind of around development studios will ever truly come back. Uh, especially since a lot of these, the artists and a lot of the people from that era are getting relatively older now, or are retiring and so on. Or they're maybe, you know, honestly, maybe getting out of touch a little bit, as we saw with uh, Mighty Number no. 9. And there's been a very strong, um, I, I guess, a PS1 revival. Not all of them are great. Some don't quite capture the look. This one's pretty good. Like I said, it looks a little bit newer than that gen, but you you don't need to emulate it perfectly. 
But Mega Man Legends, I think, was a little unique in that it had a perfected style, in that it is unironically timeless. So it transitions pretty easily to like a modern indie project or something, because it's essentially just, it's just like, it's early cell shading, but it's done in such a way where they took full advantage of the polygons and what their limitations were, and they turned it into a style in itself, as reflected with how the concept art matches the in-game models. So you can kind of see they kind of thought about this a little bit, like, oh, let's add some art hard angles here and there, and spiky here and stuff like that. So I think out of all PS1 styles, that's like it's a great one to kind of like emulate and bring back to the modern age. But yeah, I I, I do think it's it's a little bit sad how, like I said, that era of gaming is gone. But that's kind of what happens with any era of anything, pretty much. It's like early internet versus late internet or modern internet, uh, or even previous generations who have experienced similar things to like, you know, you kind of go down to the mom and pop shop to buy your groceries and now you go to the Walmart to buy your groceries. Things change. Um, there's still great games being made. Some genres are still a little bit dead. Sadly, I hope they come back. And I would love to see, obviously, Konami go back to its former glory. Capcom's kind of heading there a little bit. Tecmo, Tecmo's just kind of there. And there was a lot of small companies back then that made just a few games, but they were really good. Some of them are getting revived by other companies like uh, Blaster Masters with uh, Inti Crates and stuff like that. But as long as that, that spirit and passion of game developing and um, even in the indie scene I know is a little bit, it's, it's kind of evolving a little more. As long as that still exists, that'll kind of brunt against the, the AAA cinematic big bunch of it, uh, movie game shooter thing. And kind of give us a bit of a choice and diversity in our gameplay uh, what we pick to play. Anyway, that's it for my rant in general. So, thank you all for watching me play Delta Gal. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.